So I'm here, uh, just outside Avi Moor. The A9 is just through the trees in here. Uh, this is just a little side road off called Lynn Wilk. Uh, there is a, a, a burn in here, out in the creche. Uh, and there's a road goes up and over the hills, uh, up into here. And we're going to cross over the river here, up, push the bike over the side here, down into the other side, and then back round. I'm going to do a loop around Abbey Moor, uh, maybe somewhere between 40 and 70, maybe 80 k's or something today. It's a nice bit of hard road to start with. Uh, fairly easy going, but I know for a fact coming up, it's going to change into gravel, some of it quite loose, and it's going to be pretty steep and pretty relentless. We're at a junction. Uh, there must be a like a youth hostel sort of thing, an adventure place up there. But this is the start of the track over now. So that's us up through the woods. Just about out of the tree line now. Uh, it's pretty much first gear stuff the whole way. That's some really steepy bits, but they were tarred, so traction was okay. Uh, and this is quite dry for quite some time, so it's a little bit loose at the moment. But as long as you stay to the, uh, the side with less crap on it, it's okay. Might even get up into second gear shortly, fingers crossed. But there's a long, long way to go, so don't get over excited. Don't batter into it too hard. Just keep plodding away. Here you go. This is why we do it. For the exercise and the views. The challenge. One, and a bit of downhill when you get it. So we're getting there now. Well out of the forest, or well out of the woodland. Uh, I think we're coming up to I think boundary fence could be the edge of the national park or something up here. Uh, but the top of the hills, not that far away. Gale Carn's over here, uh, but we're going to push on up and over the top. Might, might just go up to the top of Gale Carn on the bike. And the sun has come out. So I'm taking, and that's a sign. I should definitely go. Although, when you're at the top of a pass, I'm about to go downhill for four or five quarters, I thought of pushing yourself to go another kilometre of up on probably less rideable, more technical stuff than this. Seems a bit silly. I'd say, yeah. It's got to be the top of the pass there. But, come on. Why not? Why wouldn't you? Instead of five kilometers down, helping six. Okay, we'll give it a shot. Oh. Ooh. Still going. I just come up through the gate here. Uh, there's a trick point up there, so as I remember, that should be the bit of the summit. So, yeah, quick dash to the top, have a look around, and we'll get back to the original plan. Okay, we're looking over into Cairngorms now. I think that there should be Cairngorm Mountain itself. Uh, this top of the plateau, I think. Out here, that should be Ben McDewey. Larry Grew should be running up on that side, so that's probably Bray Reek or something. Uh, Score Goygas, Goyas is in here, so Glen Fishing and that stuff is in here as well. So, yeah, I was uh, camped in here and uh, cycled in along the, the old A9 here, onto the new A9, new A9 crossed over uh, just into the houses here at Linwalk. Uh, that's where I started filming, so this is a, the path up in here, come out of the trees and that's what we've been doing so far, so we come up to uh, yeah, the edge of the boundary here, so uh, 
we're now here at Gilcarn Moor so I'll go back down onto the road here that's all descent back round a bit more descent up into here and then push back over get onto this road and we'll go down onto here and we'll pick up uh, the old military road should come through here and then I'll have to change back onto the map and then we'll come down the side of the A9 go over into uh, Abbey Moor a bit more and then probably change over onto the other side somewhere and find some other tracks to cycle on Okay, leave the top now let's <laughs> do that kilometre that we decided we were going to do extra now it'll be a bit of fun There you go, back in the track. So this is the last part of uh, the descent down to the river. You see the bridges down there. Uh, then we're going to climb back up on the other side over here and over to the summit over there, over to this one. And eventually when we come back down off of here make our way down and we'll come down across and down there there is actually a track of road down here uh goes right the way through it's a shortcut but we're not taking that <laughs> okay let's enjoy this We want it's sunshine. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, Woo. it's quite chilly there. I had to put my jacket on for the descent down. Uh, yeah, now we're going to start the descent up the top of this one up to 620 or something. So, yeah, here we go. Here we go again. So, this part's much easier. Uh, get a few little rests and freely done the little sections but we only need to go up onto the level up there till the pla till the, sorry till the road splits back and then we've got a little push to go up and over the top and there should be a track just on the other side of either that summit or one just behind it it seems very close so 
uh, without having to look at the map I'd say well there could be another one just behind it and that might be the one we need to get to but we'll see when we get there oh look Chateau Lunch oh no idea what that is a barn or something I don't know but I think I'll be stopping here for a wee bite Ooh. okay so I've pretty much reached the, the top of the climb so it turns back down to go around the loop uh, we need to get to this point here and just on the other side of the summit here there should be about three or four hundred meters of rough ground and then there should be a road on the other side so that's where we're going to go now okay so i think just about the top so this looks kind of promising there's a road over there there's a road down there so let's go down and pick it up Okay, so yeah, we just made it across the side here. Uh, so looking down, that's where we need to go. Up and over the top of that one, uh, which is over there. Uh, down, pick up the path here. So downhill for a nice bit now into the woods and then onto the road and round, which is a proper cycle path. Fantastic. But scenery for you. Well, what goes down normally comes back up. <laughs> <laughs> So we're now on the last little downhill section that will take us on to the military road it should be just over there the other side of that house Here we go
So we come from way up there. I'm really not sure what psychopath this is, but I need to find out like. It's really nice. Definitely need to look into this thing. <laughs> Should be a bridge here somewhere. There you go. Right on cue. So oh, we're now on the other side of the uh, River Spey, uh, for old General Wade's road down uh, to the junction for the old A9 A95. Uh, took the Route 7 along just a mile or so until the turn off the Boat Garden. Down to Boat Garden, crossed over the Spey there and back onto the back road that runs uh, I think from Nettie Bridge back in towards Colin Bridge. Uh, and come down there halfway and have split off now and I've found a right of way through that goes through to Loch Morlach. so uh, this is where we are now so back off to the roads and thank thankfully again back into the countryside back into the forest and it's warm down here <laughs> but it's nice it's really nice oh it's such a very nice thing to be off that road, although it's a just a B road and a cycle route, there is still a lot of traffic at this time of year. German bikers and tourists and stuff, and it's a real treat to be back in the ah, oh, back in a pine forest. Quiet, full of nice nature. Oh, it's good man this route across is pretty much going to be 6k's of gentle uphill because more or less considerably harder than where it was so split slow going but then after that it's pretty much all down I'll back to have you more so we'll all be worth it in the end I'm starting to feel like I've had enough Uphill for the day though. Day. Oh fantastic, a bit downhill. Oh yeah. So, yeah, just made it to Loch Morlach. Uh, people are really so That's had enough, so heading home. Back down to Thingy, so just gonna freewheel back down the road, so this is the last bit. Thanks for watching, cheers, bye.